Mama Moose can be dangerous. Not as dangerous as ticks, he counters. Tick-borne illnesses are on the rise, and some of them are incurable at this point. I hum around my last bite of stir-fry. You're right. We're going to need good bug spray. And to do a thorough tick check before we roll up for the night, he says, his eyes dancing in the firelight, which could get tricky. You can't search every inch of yourself without a mirror. I set my plate on the ground beside the camp stove and shift to face him with a flirty smile. You're right. We'll have to bring mirrors. He exhales a soft laugh. That wasn't what I was thinking. He leans across my thighs, setting his plate on top of mine. On his way back, he hesitates. His mouth inches away from my lips as he adds. But that could work. Or we could just check each other, I guess. I whisper, my nervous system flashing like the giant holiday lights my cousin Nancy hangs on her Christmas tree every year. Might be more efficient. He hums low in his throat, not making any move to shift farther away. Efficient is good. And we could practice tonight. Deer ticks are active in Minnesota until November. My lips part, and my heart thumps harder. I know. I put spray on my boots when I got to the parking lot, but I... I trail off, mesmerized by the way the firelight caresses his face. After a beat, I realize I'm being a spaz and hurry to add, but yeah, I totally forgot to reapply. Turn around, he murmurs, his voice a physical caress that does further damage to my panties. I'll check your neck, and you can check mine. Sounds good, I say, sounding as flustered as I feel. But I don't know the meaning of flustered. Wesley teaches me that as he sweeps my hair to one side and tugs my flannel down far enough to bare the tops of my shoulders. He brushes warm fingers over the back of my neck, sending lightning bolts of awareness ricocheting through my body with such force it takes my breath away. My jaw drops, and I try to suck in oxygen, but my lungs no longer remember how to perform that function. My eyes slide closed, and my world narrows to his touch, the rough pads of his fingers dragging over my skin, the rumble in his chest, as he performs a very thorough check of my exposed flesh.